Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be working through our budget for November, a monthly budget and our paycheck budget. But before we get started with that, if you like budgeting and that interests you, please hit the like and subscribe button and maybe leave a comment. Um, YouTube keeps taking away my subscribers. I keep gaining them and get really excited and then they're gone. So if you could like and subscribe and maybe watch a couple minutes of the video, I would really appreciate it. And thank you for stopping by and let's get right into it. Thank you. So this is my little planner that I actually just made. <laughs> been making for the last couple days um, just kind of getting inspiration from other people and filling in um, this is actually the calendar that I'm using and you can see where I did put all of our bills on their actual due dates now we are a month ahead so I do go ahead and f and pay everything a month ahead but what I like to do with this is I like to be able to see when everything clears the bank so as it clears the bank I check off the little um, dots next to it so that I know that it's actually it cleared the bank and come out of the bank um, So that's what I do there. And then this is just a little um, expense tracker that I keep for things that we buy throughout the weeks going through and Then like I said because I am a um, visual person. I do keep a record of our bills here as well um, this is for December so I actually keep track of what we have for the next month and I budget over what I think we're going to have so that I can stuff enough just in case it's a little bit more. So like I know that rent is 1600, so I know that won't change. Um, car payment is 550, that won't change. Insurance is usually about one between 180 and 190. So I usually budget for 200 just to um, stay ahead of that. Um, the credit cards i do we are trying to pay these down so we do pay a little bit extra on those so i do budget for 600 um subscriptions i know those are going to be total of 100 just with hulu and um other some other small subs sorry subscriptions that we have wi-fi um usually runs about 136 to 138 so i always budget for 140 and i know preschool is 100. So this is the total amount of our bills. And what we do, what I do is each, each month I break down each category by four, which you'll see here in a minute, and then I put that amount into the envelope throughout the month so that we stay ahead. This is a debt payoff um, tracker that I'm trying out. It's like the snowball effect. It has minimum payment if you pay extra, what the interest is, and then what the end amount is of each one. So we'll see how that works out. That's a new new thing for me. And then these are my monthly budget sheets that I have made and I'm actually thinking about putting them onto the Etsy shop um, for printouts. Um, I did mine a little bit different just because, um, like I said, we're a month ahead, so our bills are for the next month. So I did do the monthly budget worksheet and then I do the, oh, there's an error that I need to change. Um, good thing I saw that. Uh, I, this will be budget and then this will be the amount. So this will be the bill. And this is just what, what I'm thinking we're gonna save for the month. And then this is actually the weekly ones that I work through each week. And then I have my cash envelope breakdown, which I put the category or the envelope here, the amount, and then this is the cash denominations so that I know how much of each thing I, each amount of money I need for each denomination. This is a weekly expense tracker, and, um, and then it just goes into the next one, and it's the same, and then I have four weeks in each, each month, so, or if it's an extra month, if it's an extra paycheck, because my husband gets paid weekly, if it's an extra paycheck, then I go ahead and put an extra one in there. So let's go ahead and get started with the monthly one. And like I said, because we're a month ahead, I'm going to go ahead and put for the month of December. No, sorry. This is, this will actually be for this month, but we are a month ahead on our bills. So the, the bills will be for December, but everything else will be for the month of November. So we have um, my husband's income because he is construction. 
So it's kind of fluctuates. His income goes up, it goes down. Sometimes he makes way more in a week. Sometimes he makes way less. It just kind of depends on how many hours he gets. But it's usually generally always no less than $1,100. So that's what I budget for is $1,100 times four. So actually I'm gonna write 44 right here. I shouldn't have wrote 1,100. So 44 is what I'll budget for. And then I'll put his actual, at the end of the month when I close out November, I'll put his actual, what he actually made for that month. And then we get the child tax credit. So I do put that on here. And that for us, because we have um, five kids is $1,100. And then um, I watch my friend's daughter, Brooklyn. So that is my income. And um, so I'm just gonna put me, and then put a little dash and put Brooklyn right here. And then um, I, she pays me 350 and I watch her three days a week. So that's our total income. I would put DoorDash on here, but that's kind of, um, a fluctuating thing as well so I haven't quite figured out how to include that in our in our income yet just because sometimes we DoorDash sometimes he doesn't sometimes he does it on the weekends it just kind of depends on the weekend and what we're doing and how he's feeling so um, so our total bills I'm gonna go ahead and get the calculator or I mean our total income sorry is 5850 so I'm gonna go ahead and put that here and then like I said this should say budget not um, the amount so um, and I don't put a due date just because like I said we pay everything on the first of the month so we don't really need to have a due date so we have rent car payment car insurance Um, Excel, which is energy. We don't have to pay trash this month because I paid that last month. Then credit cards. Um, the subscriptions. The Wi-Fi. And preschool. something on my pen and it's making it so it doesn't want to write correctly I can see it but it won't come off okay we got it so rent is 1600 I'm gonna put that there and then the car payment is 550 and car insurance like I said I usually I just budget for 200 um, Excel our Excel bill has been outrageous it's 250 um, credit cards I budget for 600 subscriptions for 100 Wi-Fi budget for 140 and preschool is 100 3540 okay and now our cash envelopes um, there's groceries I might have to get a different pen this one doesn't seem to want to work grab a different pen. sorry try this one so there's groceries there's um, household gas um, my husband's me dining out and then um, miscellaneous so um, we'll do let's see we do 85 a week for uh, groceries and I think that's 340 so we'll do 85 times 4 yep 340 and then household, I do, I think I'm going to do 10 a week, so that's 40. Gas is a lot. So my husband's gas is 90, 
and mine is 50 and that's a week and then times four so it's 560 you know what I'm gonna I'm trying to think here I don't think I have a lot I'm gonna do 520 for gas for our budget and then my husband gets 70 a week so his is 280 I get 20 a week Oh, I'm sorry that's that's 80 no so oh well I don't have white out right now I'm out so dining out um so I want to cut down on our dining out so I am gonna only um, do 80 and I might do 40 like every other week or something but and then miscellaneous um, kind of never budget for miscellaneous I kind of just throw stuff in there if we have extra like miscellaneous money so I'm gonna leave that one blank and then, um, so we have 340 plus 40 plus 520, 280, 80, and 80. So 1340. Okay. And then we come over here and we have our sinking funds. So, um, and this is kind of, I kind of do this every month. This is just the first time I've actually um, filmed it out on camera. But so I'm pretty familiar with what we have to put in each of these envelopes. It doesn't always work out that way, like I said, because my husband, and especially with winter coming, it might change a lot just because if he misses days and things like that so um, so these are our sinking fund envelopes that I currently have right now I need to add a few more um, into the mix but I haven't quite yet I think I'm gonna wait till the very first of the year to do that I wish I had started this budget at the first of this year my uh, son my oldest son is graduating this year and he brought home his graduation packet this weekend and I was like wow that needs to definitely be in the budget because it is a lot to buy like cap and gown and that stuff that I mean it adds up quick and then of course he wanted a beanie and keychain and he wants a school ring and all of that so it's it's adding up quite quite fast so we have emergency car maintenance mortgage health vacation kids pets birthday Christmas and like I said I need to add a few more like back to school and that stuff but I think I'm gonna wait till the first of the year to add those in so emergency will get 75 car maintenance will get 75 Mortgage is going to get 35 now this envelope if you've watched me before you know but um, if not I'll explain it for the newbies um, this envelope the mortgage envelope we are tentatively inheriting my grandmother's house now I, she's still alive and I don't want her to die or anything like that I love her to death but when that does happen there's going to be a lot of um, fix up to do to the house and I know that this little bit that I'm saving is probably not even going to touch what we need to do but I'm hoping that if you know it's it's probably gonna be one to two years before we can even move into it and that's not saying that she's going to pass but she is getting to the point where she's gonna have to um, be put in a home and that kind of stuff so once that happens I've been told by her that we will be able to start working on the house so we're looking at probably one to two years so I'm hoping if I can save just a little bit at a time and every little bit helps then maybe by the time it's time to do this I might have a good decent chunk saved up so health is going to get 35 vacation is going to get 100 I know that seems a little odd but we are planning a vacation for my son's graduation so I have to really kick the savings up. Kids will be getting 100, pets will be getting 50, birthdays will be getting 50, and Christmas will be getting 100 because Christmas is approaching vastly and I need to build that envelope up as well. So this is 75 plus, 75 plus 35, 35, 100. 
hundred. Um, fifty, fifty, and one hundred equals six twenty. Six hundred twenty, and then savings. I am going to put for savings. I have two envelopes right now, so I have my savings envelope which is actually in my sinking funds, but I write it down here. And then I have the 100 envelope challenge. And it's kind of hard because I was just pulling envelopes out, but I think I'm gonna have to switch it up and do it a little bit differently and try to plan for it. So for the savings envelope, I'm gonna do 200. And then for the 100 envelope, I'm gonna try to do about 150 and see what we can do there. So that's 350. And then, so right here, I use this little thing as quick and kind of like a quick check. So the bills is thirty-five forty. Um, thirteen forty for the cash envelopes. Sinking funds is six twenty. Savings is three fifty. And so that total should be fifty-eight fifty because I am a zero base budgeter. So. I like to put my money, all money somewhere. So we're gonna add this up and make sure that it equals, otherwise I'm gonna have to go back and figure out where I messed up. Nope, 58.50. Okay, now we'll go over to our first paycheck of November. And um, so this one will be for 11, five of 21 yeah that's tomorrow and so um my husband is the only one that we will have income because i won't be receiving the daycare money that i the, for watching my friend's daughter until this coming up thursday not today but one week from today so i'm going to include that in next week's budget so his paycheck we estimated 1100 and it's going to be 1033 after only because my husband has to get gas and um, there is a subscription that is going to come out all on its own so it's 1033 and oh another one I need to take this date column out because I don't need it but like I said I split our bills into four payments or if it's a smaller bill I try to do bi-weekly payments with it so rent is one of the ones that I split. So 400 is what we're gonna try to put in there. And then what I'll do is when I do my cash stuffing, I'll write the balance here. So I'm just filling this out for today and then I'll go back and when I do the cash stuffing tomorrow, I'll fill in all the balances for everything. Our car payment. Is going to be 138 our car insurance is 50 Excel we'll get 63 and the credit cards we'll get 150 and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and write them on here, but I'm not going to be filling these envelopes this week. So subscriptions will get nothing. Uh, Wi-Fi will get nothing and um, preschool will get nothing. And the preschool is actually for a um, homeschool preschooling thing that I do with the girls um, here. And so it's just for my daughter and for the little girl that I watch. So let's add this up. So 400 plus 138 is 50 is 63 and 150 is 801. And then we have 1033 minus 80 equals 232. So we have left and so we're gonna do our cash envelopes we've got groceries household um, gas Clark which is my husband me 
and then dining out. So groceries is going to get 85. Household is going to get nothing. Um, gas. Okay, so <laughs> I know I said that we spent a lot on gas, but I am only going to put 20 in here because I'm pretty sure I have 30 left over from last week or 10 less, sorry, 10 left over from last week. So that's going to be $30. And I didn't drive anywhere this week because my son, my sons have been home from school. They've been sick. So I haven't really left the house much this week. So I'm pretty sure I'm still at least a half tank of gas. So $30 is definitely going to be plenty for me. And then my husband will get 70, I will get 20, and dining out will get nothing. So no eating out this week. 85 plus 20 plus 70 plus 20 equals one. 95 and then 232 minus 195 equals 37 so I am going to come over here and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull two envelopes out of the 100 envelope and put that $37 in that I'm sure I can find some too do that with so 37 and then um, so that's 37 which will bring us to zero so our income was 1033 our bills were 801 cash envelopes were 195 um, nothing in sinking funds this week and 37 for the 100 envelopes. So we have 1,033 minus 801 minus 195 minus 37 equals zero. So, um, so next week when I get my um, paycheck from, or my $350 for watching the little girl, I will probably use that mostly for sinking funds to make up for this week that we didn't get to put in. And then um, we'll see like what my husband's paycheck is next week. Um, he is actually homesick today, so it's probably gonna be close to the same amount next week. So we'll have to probably do mostly the same thing. Um, sinking funds, I would love to stuff those more often, but it kinda just depends on how the paycheck falls and stuff like that so but the way I see it is um, a step in the right direction and every little bit helps so I am amazed like I've said before at how I just can't believe how much money you waste when you're not paying attention so this budget has really opened our eyes or my eyes to um, what's going on so there's our two um, two budgets so the bu budget worksheet and then the weekly and then just to go through what the rest of this is um, then I have the cash envelope breakdown and then I have a weekly expense tracker and the way that I'm going to do this is uh, it'll be from paycheck to paycheck so 11 5 I'll start this on 11 5 and then go to the next paycheck of the 12th I think it is and then it starts over with the next week and then I have this little end of the month reflection in the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not in, I can't remember which one it is. One of them, I added note pages at the end, this one. And I might keep that instead of that end of the month reflection just because sometimes I have stuff to write down and it'd be nice to have a place to put it. I'm just kind of playing with this right now to see how I like it and what, what I want to keep and what I don't. But thinking about putting the pages on the Etsy store. This is a monthly budget goal sheet that I did. And I did get the idea from um, a YouTuber. Uh, a Pink Cloth, I believe, is her um, YouTube name. I'll have to look it up. But um, I actually got the idea for the debt payoff tracker from her too. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's my budget. That's what we do. And then I made this uh, little cover just because I needed something pretty in here.
because this wasn't pretty. <laughs> so anyways, that's, that's my um, tracker. That's all we're going to do for today. And then I will be back probably either tomorrow or the day after to do my cash stuffing video and stuff. So if you like what you saw and you watched it all the way to the end, please like and subscribe so that you can see my next video. Um, leave a comment. I keep gaining subscribers and then YouTube takes them away, so I'm not sure what that's about, but if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And thank you for stopping by. Bye.